So y'all, my memory card got full and so much has happened <laughs> in the time I have waited on my pictures to transfer. First of all, I ended up going to a nail shop to get my nails removed. So the nails are all off. Got dressed, went on a date, got stood up. The nigga stood me up, y'all. Stood me up. We were supposed to meet at 8. At 7.45, I texted and told him I was on the way. He told me that he would be like five minutes late because the traffic was bad. I was like, oh, okay. So, that means he's supposed to be at 8 o'clock. 8.05. 8.06, I texted him and was like, oh, I'm here. Because now it's 8.06. He was like, okay. I go in the restaurant. I sit down. At about 8.15, I text my friend. I was like, he late. What should I do? So, at first I was like, okay, I'm going to wait at 8.30 and then I'm out of here. But then I was like, you know what? No, I ain't waiting that long. So, I said to my friend, I was like, I'm leaving at 8.20. So, he was like, yeah, yeah. That, that's, you should, yeah. So, 8.20 rolls around, I leave. Y'all, why this man? So, as soon as I left, I blocked him on the dating site and I blocked him in my phone. Why this man text me at 8.36 and said, first of all, he called from a different number. I didn't answer him. He texted and said, I know you ain't had me to waste my time driving way over here and you playing games. Waste your time? Waste your time? Sir, is you crazy? Like, I got dressed, put on my wig, did my makeup, and made sure that I was on time because I really wanted to make sure I was on time. I wanted to be very considerate of his time. And then he didn't do the same for me, boy. Thank you. Ciao. So we back home. I had an Amazon package that I got yesterday that I never opened, so we are opening it up today. Um, sit y'all down. Well, I ain't gonna sit y'all down because I got to open it. Oh, it's three pair of shoes in here. Oh, I did order three pair of shoes. Y'all, I love Amazon Travel for You Buy. Because that's what all of is. All of them is Travel for You Buy. See, but what's gonna be the problem is I ain't gonna wanna see none of this stuff back. I had to want me a pair of these. <clears throat> hold on, hold on, y'all. I'll be back. All right, so first up is these Ugh. Hold on. These. My foot can't fit in here with no sock on. And they don't seem like they're that comfortable. Like, yeah, I don't think we're gonna send these back. They're like hard on the bottom. I don't like how that feel. That's not as comfortable as I thought it was gonna be. Second up is these. I ain't even try them on because I don't like them. So we're just gonna send them back. Third up is these. <clears throat> and the crazy thing is, is I've had these before in navy blue. I had a navy blue and red pair and I can't remember what color the other ones was. I do like these, but I got another pair of New Balances on the way as well. That's gray, because I want me a pair of gray tennis shoes. I'm going to see which ones I like the best. So, I got to next Friday to send these back. I think the other ones will be here like tomorrow or Monday. So, I'm going to save these until those come. And then I'll decide which pair I actually want to keep. Y'all, I'm really disappointed about these. Because I really wanted to love these. But they just hard and... Yeah, they not... Mm -mm. Yeah, I really wanted to love them. But I don't. Alright, y'all. It is Saturday night. It's almost 12. So... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I forgot to tell y'all. We hit a thousand subscribers yesterday. <laughs> so, in case you don't know to get monetized on YouTube, you have to have a thousand subscribers and you also have to have 4,000 watch hours. I don't have the watch hours yet, but I'm just happy to hit one of the two. Um, so now I just have to work on getting the watch hours. So if you are watching these vlogs, I really do thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because it does matter. Um, thank you to the thousand subscribers that I have. Here's to 10,000, 100,000 more. Um, that was so exciting for me. I set that goal. I've had that goal. I wanted to do it at six months. Then I wanted to do it at a year. Then I wanted to do it by the end of last year. And this one, I really just kind of honed in and got it done. And we're going to do the same thing with these watch hours. We're going to walk them down. Okay? So, I'm very excited about that. Um... But we're going to end this vlog. We're going to end this vlog. I just wanted to say before I go on yesterday, I was talking about doing hitting the thousand subscribers. And 
uh, one of my friends said to me, she was like, so now we just got to work on the watch hours. And I was like, hey, one thing at a time. Y'all, you got to learn to celebrate small wins. You got to learn. You don't have to. Hey, I always say, I use the analogy. When you're watching football, they don't wait till they score a touchdown to, to celebrate. Every 10 yards, when they get another first down, they celebrate then. And then they have a big celebration when they hit, you know, when they get the touchdown. But they still celebrate the small wins. That keeps you encouraged. That keeps you going. So we're celebrating hitting our 1,000 subscribers. Uh, we'll be hitting our watch hours soon. We're claiming that. Our number's going to go up. We're going to do the thing. I thank y'all for watching these vlogs. I really do appreciate you. You made it this far in the vlog. Um, I think in the next vlog, we're going to do a, a giveaway. Yeah, let's do a giveaway. Since we start a new vlog tomorrow, we got our 1,000 subscribers. Let's do a giveaway. So make sure you watch the next vlog as well. Um... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to like and comment on these vlogs. Y'all, I know these vlogs might be, might be, have been all over the place, but I have a lot going on in my life right now. <laughs> I have a lot. My life is just how these vlogs look, okay? But I appreciate y'all for watching. So thank y'all. Talk about that. We could talk about this. Talk about that. We could talk about this. Talk about that. Anthony's unfiltered. Hey y'all, and welcome back to another vlog. I'm your girl Antonise, and you are here on Antonise.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to all my A-listers. Hey girl, hey. If you are new, hello, how are you? All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, and you can be a part of the A-list too. Y'all, we kicking off the vlog. It is Sunday, January 20th, 21st, 20 whatever. That goes with Sunday. Um, It is Sunday evening, actually, 6.30. I'm headed out the door to go pick up what I ordered for dinner. Um, and I really just wanted to come on here and kick the vlog off. I haven't done anything all day. I was supposed to clean this up today and all that. I ain't did nothing. I ain't did nothing. So, I'll get up and clean tomorrow. Um, I just want to do like a deep clean, like a Sunday deep cleaning. But, okay, of course, like I said, I could do it tomorrow. So, I'm not really worried about that. But I'm going to get ready to go out the door again. I just wanted to kick the vlog off. Say, hey, how y'all doing? What's up, what's up, what's up? And I don't know what y'all in store for this weekend, but I just want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. All right, y'all, we back. Um, We had some packages from Amazon, a box and a package. We got our food. Let y'all see what it looks like. So it's fried fish, fried shrimp, lots of macaroni and cheese, and then the side of collard greens. So we're about to try down on this. And now let's know what I think once I get to eat them. Well, this is what it is. One of the things that I am enjoying in my new place is trying new food. Um, some of the places um, are chained, but we didn't have them back in Jacksonville. And some of the places are actually like just here. You know what I'm saying? So trying new food, trying new food places is always something new for me to try. I'm really enjoying that. This place, I had heard good things about. And, um, I didn't feel like cooking, so, and it was close to me. So I was like, well, let me try this out. A little dipping sauce. All right, sauce is good. So I called, I did a online order. It's actually pretty good, y'all. This gonna get so much more fun when I can actually like share where I'm at and the name of the places and stuff. But let me go ahead and eat and I'll be back. So it is Monday. Um and we are outside today, as you can see. Turn left into the parking lot, then arrive at your destination. Hold on, let's see where we're going. So do I park in here? I don't understand what am I doing. This thing say turn left into the parking lot, so turn left into the parking lot, girl. Hold on, let me end this, y'all. Arrived. Okay, so yeah, um, Retail parking customers and let these people walk. So yeah, so we outside today. Um 
we're actually meeting up with someone to do a one-on-one -on -one, um, training. Um, I'm very excited. This is my first one since I moved. Um, Y'all, I don't know. These parking spaces. Listen, I don't know what it is, but these parking spaces here are so small. So everybody here backs into parking spaces. I'm not used to have to always back into a parking space. But clearly, that is the thing to do because that's what everybody do. Like, you don't see too many people just pull right in the parking spaces. Everybody is like backing into the parking spaces. So let me get my bike up game on because, girl, baby, like all the parking spaces just look so small and tight. Like they real little. Oh, wait, I'm pulling in this way. I was gonna pull in this way and then back up. Back here behind me. But I might be in y'all through that. I saw a car coming. I, I don't wanna back up because this is, baby, these parking spaces, like I said, are tight. Okay? They are tight. It's like, do y'all think everybody got a compact car? Because why are these spaces so small? Okay, let me get out of here. But they'll swing a little bit because we're too close. That car right there. And I know how to bike up. Like, I'm a real driver. But it's just the point. i just never been somewhere where everybody just backs in. Everybody just back in. See how I, I back that thing on in? Smooth like peanut butter? Nah. Like I said, I'm a real driver. I feel like them people ain't got enough space on that side over there. So I'm going to pull up a little bit because I be liking to be courteous to people because you might be a big girl like me. And I hate to come out of somewhere and somebody has backed into a parking space and... Um, I can't get in my car because I'd be like, well, what the hell was you thinking? Or somebody has pulled next to me and I can't get in my car. So, yeah, I, I hate to do that to people because I don't like nobody to do it. Oh, bitch, I done hit the gate behind me, y'all. I done talked all that shit. Did I hit that gate? I did. <laughs> Look at y'all, so important. <laughs> yeah, so I'm having my first one-on-one -on -one, um, session with another esthetician here where I'm at and I keep wondering why I can't see I got any damn shades um so we're meeting up we're gonna go ahead and um I'm helping her with her content I'm helping her um to kind of rebrand her business just helping her to see what what she's missing and see what she needs help with and all of that and we're gonna she's gonna be on like my um 12 with me 12 week mentorship program so that's what we're gonna be doing I gotta figure out where I'm going because I parked in the garage but evidently the place is in this thing so let me figure out where we're going and I'll check back in with y'all. All right, y'all. So we are leaving the meeting. It was actually very good and very productive. Um, I got two stops to make before I go home. I'm trying to see what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I did just have a um Philly cheese steak sub here at this place. Um I did just have a Philly cheese steak to so I'm sorry at this place and it was actually kind of good but it was kind of greasy so I didn't really eat it all so I know in another two or three hours I'm gonna be hungry um so I'm trying to see what do I want to eat before I go in the house like do I want to cook something or do I want to Walmart charged me I had put my Walmart delivery on hold but Walmart charged me for Walmart delivery I guess I forgot to cancel it, so it charged me. So I am gonna get me some groceries delivered from Walmart because if I am paying for Walmart grocery delivery, I'm gonna use that. So I won't be going to Walmart <laughs> anytime soon um, cause the delivery is free. Um, But I'm trying to see like, and I wanted to go to Trader Joe's this morning, I didn't get up and go. And I feel like you gotta go to Trader Joe's in the morning cause if not, everything gonna be picked over. And I don't really know what I want out of Trader Joe's anyway. I do have some shrimp and I have some vegetable fried rice so I could do like vegetable fried rice I got some beef and broccoli too I think I do that beef and broccoli and just cook me some rice on the side um yeah I think that's what I'll do so I'm not gonna buy anything I just eat I've been trying to be very conservative about it. I keep telling y'all I ain't got no job so I've been trying to be very conservative about spending money especially if I got stuff at home like it's no use to just going out buying hold on y'all because I'm trying to see my other phone at and it's just going out buying up a bunch of stuff and you got food at home you know so I'm trying to be 
way more conservative with that. Um, hey, baby, I don't leave no message. Um, I gotta get myself together. So yeah, just trying to eat the food I got at home. So I think I'm gonna either do the beef and broccoli, or I got that beef bulgogi. I think it was is what it's called from Trader Joe's as well. I got both of those in the freezer, and then I also have some, a bag of vegetable fried rice, and I got some shrimp, so I can always whip that up and make some shrimp fried rice. Um, yeah, so I guess we're going home. Now, I'm going to make my two stops. I got to stop to Office Depot, Home Depot, somewhere Depot, and get a box. And I have to drop a package off. So, I'm going to do those two things, and then we're going home. I'm trying to see which one I'm first. I probably head and head to drop the package off first, and then I'll see where the Office Depot at close to there once I do that. So, I'll see y'all in a minute. I got to turn this light off because I ain't going to be able to see. And I also need to turn on my directions. So, there's that. All right. All right, guys, so we got some more stuff off of our Amazon um, housewoman list. We got a gold paper towel holder. Now, we got this gold paper towel holder um, last week. But I'm going to move this one to the bathroom, and then I'm going to put this one in the kitchen. So I want that one to go up under there. So that's really cute. And then this is what happen when you don't read. So these are supposed to be pictures. This is stuff. It's decor for the other bathroom. It matches the shower curtain, but I can go to Dollar Tree and get some... Um, it's four pictures to hang on the wall. So I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and get some gold frames to put them in to go on the wall with that shower curtain. Um, we had one of these, but we exchanged it because the last one I got, it didn't have the cup to put these in, and I didn't want these in the drawer because they're kind of heavy and they were wearing the drawer down. So we got the one with the cup, and then oh, that's it because the tape towel holder came out of here. So yeah. If you would like to purchase me something off my housewarming list, you know, just send me a message and I will send you the link. Personally, thank you to everyone who has purchased me something so far. Good morning, y'all. So it is Wednesday, January 24th, I believe. Um, I'm up. I'm getting ready to go. Actually, um, a young lady that I'm going to be mentoring here where I, well, close to by where I live. I am going to her shop today to help her with some content and just see you know exactly what all she really needs help with in her business um so i'm up getting ready for that i realized i mean yesterday i went i actually went to lunch and i went to the mall however my camera was dead <laughs> i must be in charge in a couple days i haven't been as active i feel like on my blogs because it's kind of hard to blog and not like show the full on experience like where I'm going for lunch, where I'm going out to hang out at. But you know, for safety reasons, I can't do that at this point. Um, I just don't feel comfortable doing it yet. So I have to be very cautious of like what I post and what I don't post. And it's really to me kind of like making my blog, my blogs be like blah. So I got to figure out, you know what I'm saying, a medium of what we're going to be posting, where I'm going to be taking y'all. Because I got to take y'all outside. Like... I got to. It just, we just, that's that's how we roll around here. We go outside, you know? So we just got to figure out, you know what I'm saying, something um, of how we're going to make that happen. I think I told y'all, I don't know if I've actually said it in this vlog, but we hit our 1,000 subscribers. So I just need y'all watching. I need y'all watching. We need to get our people engaged, get them on here so we can be monetized on YouTube. I'm so happy. And in this vlog, when you get to the end of this vlog or you watch this vlog, I will be doing a giveaway. I guess I could do like a special word or something. And if you comment the special word, you'll win. So I'll know that you watch the whole entire vlog. Um, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and get in the shower and stuff and get dressed for that. So I can go help her out. And I'll let you guys know how I go. And I'll take you... I try to take y'all in somewhat. Because I plan on take y'all with me yesterday, like I said, but my dang on bad. As soon as I turned the camera on, the battery was dead. So I was like, oh, shoot. I got to be more careful about now making sure that um, I'm charging my battery and that I'm also um, my memory cards. Because the other day I tried to record and the memory card was full. So I got to stay on top of that like I used to. I think I'm kind of getting back in the groove of things, of being, you know, in this new place. So hopefully things don't do nothing but get better. Hey y'all, so it's later in the evening. I'm back home. Um, oh yeah. Um, so today I went out. I went to one of the girls. I drove to one of the girls who shop, who I'm mentoring. 
Um, we went over a couple of things with her schedule and her clients and things like that. Um, we ended up going to grab something to eat and then um, I came back home. Now, I want y'all to understand how hard this is for me. First of all, I got to get me some steady income. Like, um, I got to get me some steady income. Um, I don't think I'm going to have to get a job because I am building my coaching business and things like that. But, however, um, I have not worked, honestly, since I closed my shop now, which was December the 20. 8th or the 29th is January the 24th. I got to give me some steady income. Um, I got to I got to be able to make sure that I am able to sustain my lifestyle. Um, I, this, I'm about to go into panic mode and I don't want that to happen. So I have to make sure that I am securing my income. So right now, I'm sitting here. I'm designing out another ebook that I already, well, ebook I already had done. I'm finishing up so I can put it online. Um, this is hard and a lot of people probably would say girl why would you move somewhere and you don't have a job or you don't have income like i i had no choice it was either live or work you know what i'm saying so it's, i had no choice it was again it's a very sudden move it is very and it can get very discouraging like it can get very discouraging um i'm aggravated um it's just a lot it's a lot and I hope y'all y'all watching this and y'all I hope y'all praying for me and y'all it's like I'm trying not to get worried because I'm a believer that you can't worry and pray and I know I've been praying hard I know I've been putting things in the atmosphere I know I've been talking to God and I'm also trying you know putting in the work so I believe that things are going to pan out for me and they're going to work out just like they, they need to but I am a human being at the end of the day and it is hard not to worry okay so I have an accountability call with my um, latest group that I'm a part of. We do monthly accountability. Um, we used to do them in person sometimes. Since I'm not there. Well not since I'm not there. Um, we have. Well we just do them virtually sometimes. So we're about to start on that virtually. So I just wanted to check in. I'm working on ebook. I am watching a YouTube. One of my girls that I like to watch on YouTube. Ebony Elbow. And I am about to get on this accountability call. So on the accountability call, we kind of do work and work through some things while we are on the call. So I'm going to just continue to work on my ebook and do my work while I'm on the call. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of that. I just feel like, like, I'm also kind of getting discouraged about my blogs. Like, I used to be outside in my blogs. That was the one thing that I did have that I could be outside. And since I'm in this new place and... I'm trying to keep my location as the street as possible. Um, I can't take y'all to lunch with me. I can't take y'all to eat the food. I can't take y'all nowhere with me. And I can show y'all like the food, but I can't name the place and that kind of thing. It just gets discouraging. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I got to figure out creative ways to be able to still share my life, still share, you know, things with you guys without um, disclosing my location. If that makes sense. And I, I, I'm, I haven't figured out how to do that. So my creativity has to be on 30,000. Okay. So I see girls have hopped on the call. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up with that. And I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Y'all, I'm sitting here editing the vlog. It was supposed to go up today, but it's definitely going to go up tomorrow. This vlog is an hour and 57 minutes long. I've never had a vlog an hour and 57 minutes long. And it's funny because... I just was talking about how I feel like, you know, I don't, my blogs are boring and that kind of stuff. And here I go with the longest vlog I've ever had. So I'm trying to chop it down some. I want to get it down to like maybe an hour 30, hour 35 minutes or something like that. Because I think an hour and 50 minutes is just, I don't know. But we finna see. I just wanted to let y'all know that, girl. So I guess I've been recording more than I thought I have. Well, let's see what we can do. Alright y'all, so I am making me a little pepperoni pizza for dinner. So y'all know I had made that um, barrier pizza with the long um, pizza bread. I like these better. It's like a personal pan pizza. So I probably I might get that other one again the next time, but I will cut it in half to make it like four instead of two pieces. Um, so I'm going to have to like warm it up and just get me like some Ziploc bags or something to preserve it. But we're going to pop this in the oven. It's just a regular just little pepperoni pizza. Of course, y'all know that's turkey pepperoni. But it'll be done in like five minutes. Do y'all be preheating your oven? 
Baby, I do not preheat that oven. I preheat it, I put it on 400. Baby, it's on 200, I done popped the pizza in. I don't preheat. I'm a, I'm a, if I, remember to turn the oven on way earlier. And like I got to make something and it be done before I get through. But if not, baby, I pop that stuff right on that oven. <laughs> soon as the oven, soon as I'm done, through doing what I'm doing. Whether the oven preheated or not, shoot. I'm sitting up here in my computer chair because if I go in my room, I ain't gonna get nothing done. So I'm at least trying to finish editing my video. And I need to put up my reel for the night. And then I can go in the room. But once I go in that room, work hours are over. Nothing gets done, okay? And I've learned that. So if I want to get some work done, I gotta come sit out here. Yeah. So it is Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. Um, I'm headed out the door to go. I have to go to another spa today to do like a spa audit. Um, so I'm headed out the door for that. Um, I'm going to eat first. I'm going to go eat, and then I'm headed out the door trying to get dressed. Sit y'all down right here. Um, yeah. So. I told y'all yesterday that I have been doing like spa audits trying to build up my mentorship program and things like that. So I have another young lady to meet with today. So we're about to drive there. I also need to go to the post office and I need to go to UPS. I did some Amazon try before you buy purchases and I need to return the bulk of them. There's four pairs of shoes and three of them I want to send back. So. I'm at, oh, am I even recording with my hand behind the camera like this? Hold on. So I'm going to have to um, put y'all down because this box is heavy. So I'm trying to make sure I got everything I need. So I got the door. And I'll probably see y'all at the restaurant if I can. So you guys, I hate that I be flat out in this little hair. Probably about, though, it's rainy. And as soon as it get a little... So I'm on it, it just puffed right back up and like my hair ain't done. Cause y'all know my hair was done. Anyway, we're leaving from food. I was gonna say we're leaving for lunch, but I had breakfast. I had me some grits, eggs, and corned beef. I'm gonna insert that video. Um, before this, I tried to record, but then they were playing come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, or something in that background. And y'all know. So I have to try to mute it out, but <clears throat> I'm good and full. Now I'm on my way to do this spa visit, but honestly, I'm sleepy. <laughs> and it's raining. Like I want to go home and get in my bed, but I have things to do, you guys. We got things to do. <sighs> I was just saying I got no directions, but you are my directions, ain't mm -hmm. you? So we're headed out and I will see you guys. Am I not in reverse? I am, but I'm on a hill. Hold on. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know where I see y'all at. Probably when I get to the next stop at the spa or whatever. But I gotta turn this light off because it's in my eyes. And I think I need my eyes to dry. Yeah. Yes. So I finally got oh before I do that. So my video y'all that I have been trying to upload since last night. Finally got it uploaded. Finally got it. Because he's just going to bike up all down the sidewalk. They was ready to go. Okay. Them people, I told them they was waiting on us. And they, they didn't say nothing. So I finally got it uploaded. Finally got it. Um, Everything okay. done. I'm just, I just gotta, I finally got it saved. So I just have to upload it to YouTube. So that will be up today. Um, I'll be working on that while I'm at this other spot, while I'm waiting on her to do, do her client and everything. Um, yeah. But let me get off here cause it's raining and just, just, this just don't seem safe, okay? Hey y'all. Baby, I had to take off the hat and everything. Y'all, the elevator is broken. I just had to walk up seven flights of stairs. When I say, I don't even know if I'm mad. I don't, I know I'm tired. I know I, I done sat down and caught my breath a little bit since I've been in the house. But when I tell you, just roll me down, just roll me down. Y'all have been trying to upload my YouTube video all day. And I just need, I got it, finally got it saved. Now I just need to upload to YouTube and my phone is giving me a hard time again. And I'm going to have to find a better way to edit my videos because this whole phone thing is driving me nuts. So this means my video was supposed to went up yesterday, which was Wednesday. We on Thursday. It still ain't went up because I still haven't put it up because I got to get it to upload YouTube and I'm having a hard time doing that. So I have a lot I got to do at 9. It's 8.20. I'm going to work on my video. 
because I got some invoices I need to send out to send some invoices. I did some spa business today. Did I take y'all in there? I did some spa business. I actually did three spas today. So I got two people to sign up as clients. So yay me. Um, and like I told y'all, I'm doing a mentorship program, the membership program, people to sign up to do my mentorship. So I got um, two or three people to sign up. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, so I got to send out invoices for that and get ready for this live. So let me put this stuff up. I did get me some. I think I told y'all when I was in public, so I just want to make sure. I got me some Deer Park and some public spring water because I'm a Zephyr Hills water girl. I'm from Florida, but they don't have Zephyr Hills here. So I'm trying to see what other spring water I like because I know I don't like purified water. So I'm trying out some waters to see what I like. And I keep y'all updated which one, you know, do the thing. I don't know last place I stayed with a, um up and down refrigerator. But y'all, it is not enough space in this refrigerator. And then I'm tall, so to have to bend down to look in this refrigerator is really aggravating. Baby, I'm a side-by-side -side kind of girl. And I think you have more room in these. However, it is a workout to look in it, especially if you're tall like me. Like, my God. Hey, y'all. So it is Friday. Um, Y'all, it's 4 o'clock. I have been out the door since 10 o'clock this morning and I forgot to check in with y'all. So we have done a spa visit today. We've been to lunch. We've been back to the spa again. And now we are headed to the post office. Y'all know I've been headed to the post office since Tuesday. It's Friday. We're really going to the post office for this time. I finally got that vlog uploaded that I've been trying to upload for a couple of days. Um, yeah, so I'm going after we go to the post office. I'm probably just going back home. I need to start working on I did get two clients to sign I think I told y'all this yesterday but I got two clients to sign with my mentorship program so we're just working on getting us some more um getting us some more clients for that um I told y'all I was working on transferring my institution license y'all so my institution license in the state of Florida is technically a skin and a nail license in order for me to transfer my license they want me to take a skin and a nail test y'all I don't know nothing about no nails I don't know. I'm trying to focus this in, y'all, on me. I don't know nothing about no nails. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know if I'm better to pass a nail test. I barely know if I'm better to pass a skin test. So we've been honest. I've been in school for 10 years. Um, and the things that they teach us in school is not actually the things that I have been doing since I have been out of school. Um, but I think I'm going to study for it and just try it and give it a shot and see what happens. So I'm going to start my application for that today. Um... Other than that, we are, let me pull up this address so I can see where the post office at. So I can go drop these packages off. I got one, two, three, I think four things in the loft real fast. So, and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all, so my back seat is finally cleared out. It has not been clear for about a week. Um, I just stopped and got gas. Y'all haven't had to get gas nothing but one time since I moved. I came with a full tank of gas, you know, put my car on the um, trailer. I didn't drive it. And I filled my tank up before I left. And then I've gotten gas one time. I've been here. And I just put gas in my car. Now I put $10 in here because I like to go to Shell. And this was a Circle K. <clears throat> and I'm going to fill it up when I go to Shell. So I just put $10. But $10 just got me like a more than a half a tank. I mean a quarter of a tank. And so that'll last me a Tuesday when I do my team on Tuesday. And then go to Shell. But I have been here now. One, two, three. Sunday will. Tomorrow. Saturday will make four weeks that I've been here. One, two, three, four. Yep, and I've only built had to get gas one time. Everything is relatively close except when I'm driving to told y'all I'm in like a small town that's like outside of the main town. And I keep saying that, but it's like 45 minutes to go into the main town. Um But it's a lot of stuff close to me in the small town. As far as like food and that kind of stuff. But I have to go into the main town if I want to go like the hookah. And that kind of stuff like that. So that's why I've been smoking hookah a lot at home. Because I don't be feeling like driving all the way across town. But if I find me a little spot close to here, y'all know it's on. Y'all, I'm where I'm at. I know how to get home from here. Oh, I done drove. I done. Fuck, I got to make a U-turn. I know how to get home from here. So I don't even have to stand out of me. Because if not, I'm going to back up. So I don't even have to go. All the way around, I'm trying to see if somebody's coming behind me, and it's not. I'm gonna bet right up down this little hill so I can turn around so I won't have to drive all the way down and uh, make no U turn. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm going very slow. Because you see me biking up, and then you just gonna 
if you don't bike and if I had a bike and see and I know I'm wrong, but god damn, you see me biking up. You see me biking up. Here goes somebody else speeding around in a fucking hurry. Anyway, so where I'm at, I don't have to go. I mean, I don't need my GPS. I know how to get home. So I'm very excited about that. What is the little car with the is that a scion with the little star thing like this? But it's it's um you can plug it up, it's like electrical. But it has a little, like a little star as the symbol. I don't think I've seen no, never seen no name on it. However, um, I know it's electric. I need to put my seatbelt on, but I'm not far from where I'm going. So let me just put my seatbelt on. Y'all, it's so many goddamn juicy crabs and crafty crabs and uh, uh, crab houses and crab this. And, and mind you, I ain't nowhere near no water. So where the fuck they getting these crabs from? Yeah, they got way more crowd places here than we had back home, and I don't, I don't understand that. Okay, now that I don't understand. But yeah, so I am headed home, and like I said, I don't need my GPS to get home, but I will see y'all when I get there. Y'all, <coughs> yes, I'm crying again. <laughs> I just want to share this with y'all. Um, I moved somewhere. I only knew two people that live anywhere close to here. Um, through those two people, I have met maybe 10 people. Um, I've been here almost four weeks, like I just said. This week, I kicked off my mentorship program. And I've had three people to sign up. Somebody just paid me $1,400 for me to mentor them. I have been wanting to do this mentorship program for a while. Um, and I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because I had my shop and I just had so much other stuff to do. Y'all, I move with literally nothing. Like, I move with nothing. If you haven't watched my vlogs before this, go back and watch and I'll just tell you why. Like, it was like I had to move. It was a very urgent thing and I left like I, I came with no job. I really came with no money. Like not no money to like live off of. I moved with nothing. And when I tell y'all the doors that God is opening for me. The things that he is doing for me and he is showing me that I can trust him. And just to keep you know. Just to keep trusting him and just to keep, I'm just asking that he keeps like ordering my steps and that he keeps guiding me along the way and things like that. Y'all, these, and I'm not saying these are tears of joy. Like, I just like, God is about to blow my mind. He said, I'm about to do it. That's all I keep thinking about. That's all I keep thinking about. My God, like, God is something else. Oh, y'all, this journey has been so crazy. It has been a roller coaster of ups and downs. But Lord, my God, my God, my God is showing me who He truly is, in which I know who God is because I have been in some situations before that He has brought me out of. But every time, every time, every time, He show up and He show out. Hey y'all! So it is Saturday night. Um, I ain't did nothing all day, y'all. I have spent the last three Saturdays home in the bed. Um, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Like, that's not how I want my Saturdays to go. However, I don't know what you do on Saturdays because I used to work on Saturdays. Um, and I want to be a get up on Saturday mornings and go to Target, go to Trader Joe's, go to the stores kind of girl. But I don't like to be in the store with a lot of people. And the fact that I have been blessed enough to not have to be in the store with a lot of people and I can just go when I want to go and not have to, you know, be caught up in the middle of all of that. I usually like to go to the stores and stuff during the week, you know, but I got to find something to do with my Saturday mornings, with my Saturdays, so I won't just spend, sorry y'all, all day in the doggone bed. Um, I just made me some vegetable fried rice from Trader Joe's. I think I messed it up. I caught myself adding egg to it. But the egg to me made it gummy. And I don't know if it got gummy because I overcooked it trying to cook the egg. Or if it got gummy because of the egg was added to it. I don't know. But for now I'm just going to get the chicken one. I like the chicken fried rice. Or if I do the vegetable I'll just get. Um, 
like something, the mandarin chicken or something to go with it. But I, I just to get the chicken fried rice because it already got chicken in it. And I mean, I got this one so I can add shrimp. I did add shrimp, <clears throat> but it was like, child, you should have just got that chicken fried rice because you eat chicken, you know? So I'm just up cleaning up this kitchen behind myself, about to make me a hookah. Um, find me something to watch probably on YouTube. I do want to go to church tomorrow. There's a church close to me. I'm going to look to see what time their services is tomorrow because I do want to try out church tomorrow. Um, also, I found me a nail tech, so I'll be getting my nails done this week. And I got to get my hair done. My son just told me that I look like his grandma with my hair brushed back like this. So, yeah, we got to do something about this. Um, y'all know I had order press on nails off of Amazon, but we're gonna send them back, y'all. I can't even take the acrylic off by myself without getting help. So I'm not even gonna try that with the nails. I'm gonna just send those nails back. I found a nail girl. Hopefully I'm happy with her and I can, you know, build a relationship with her. And hopefully I can find somebody to do my hair like sooner rather than later, okay? Um, I'm probably not going to check back in with y'all no more tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. If you made it this far in the vlog, you already know how I feel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? Um, I think I told y'all that we did hit our 1,000 subscribers, so yay! Um, and I said I was going to do a giveaway, so my giveaway is going to consist of two or three of my books, just depending on what I got, and one of my glass manifestation cups. So it's a cup like this, and then... The books come like this. So you'll get, I have um, two different copies of these. And then I also have um, several of those books. One of those books, I don't know, I mean several of those cups. One of those books, I don't know if I have, um, I don't know if I actually have the physical copy. So I might have to send downloadables, but whatever it is, I'll make sure you get two books at least. I want to do three, but at least two books and a cup. Um, if you are watching this vlog and you made it this far, the um, code is New City. First person to comment New City wins the giveaway. I guess this is how giveaways go. Comment New City, so I know you made it to the end of the vlog. And I'm actually going to do two. So, first two people to comment New City will win a giveaway. I'll message you um, to let you know. To get your address so I can ship it to you, okay? So again, thank y'all for making it this far in the vlog. I love y'all so much. If you have not already, um, make sure you like and comment on this vlog. Let me know how I'm doing. I've been I've been doing YouTube now. It's been about a year and two or three months or so, 15 months or so. Um, and I want to know how I'm doing. So make sure you comment on this vlog. And if you have not subscribed, what the hell are you waiting on? Until next time, bye. One, one, what's the four, one, one? What's the four, one, one? What's the four, one, one?